You're looking for a family home in Heritage Hills in Sure Park? Watch this video. We are here in Shore Park today. That's so weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so strange. We're <laughs> in a very coveted area. I mean, Shore Park in general moves very quickly, no matter what the real estate market is like. Yeah. And Heritage Hills is located on the east side of Shore Park, and it's just off of Clover Bar Road and just south of Baseline Road. So a nice small area in Heritage Hills, and it's still relatively close to those newer amenities called Emerald Hills. Mm. I, love the I don't know much about Sherwood Park. Yeah, there's a Costco over there, and the Yellowhead is just there. Right. So this side of town, actually from the southeast, only took 21 minutes. From yeah, it was fast, Edmonton. actually. Yeah, yeah. So it's not too bad. Yeah. Just don't get stuck in traffic. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you live <laughs> in Edmonton or Shore Park, you want to get stuck in traffic. No, it's true. So the Heritage Hills is a really nice area. There's actually an elementary school here, and they simply call it Heritage Hills Elementary. Well, that's easy. None of these weird names <laughs> that we have in Edmonton. Yeah, all these people. Yeah, we don't understand. Yeah, that we don't know where they're from. <laughs> but um, you also have lots of walking paths here, too. Excellent. So this neighborhood is definitely so family friendly. Shore Park is known for its family friendliness. So we're talking about hockey and being hockey family in a hockey community, and there's a rink yeah, there's right a down the way. Yeah, there's a Hills rink like really close to this house. Awesome. They also have an off-leash dog park. Oh, sweet. So if you don't have kids yet, or you don't want kids, and you just want a dog, <laughs> then you've got plenty of You know, that work. is an okay life choice. Yes. Like, I would support that. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is all coming from a mom of a four A mom of four knows that dog life is where it's at. I have a dog, rabbit, so. <laughs> we're not that's, taking, that's okay, we're too. not taking the rabbit yeah. to the dog Park. No, don't do that. That, that is that is death. The end yeah, of that, that would be the end. Yeah. So yeah, if you live in this area, you can easily walk to those places yeah. when it's nice out. Uh, and so there's lots of things that you can do here as a family. So this house that we're standing in is pretty large. And when I was driving through the neighborhood, saw some similar homes. So what types of homes are you going to find here? So here specifically, like we're standing in a house with a double garage that's attached in front. Mm -hmm. You are going to find plenty of homes like that. Yeah. And you're going to find the duplexes, townhouses, the lane homes. It's pretty standard. Mm -hmm. I mean, every area, you got the vinyl siding, so it's a pretty yeah. standard. I mean, you call it cookie cutter type area. Right. Um, but it is, it's it's well established, right? It's not a new yes. build area still. You can it's, also see the trees are like yeah. quite a bit taller here. It's nice to have that. The They've been around for a while. Yeah. Some little baby trees you bring from school. Exactly. Oh, we have a few of those. Yeah. So, so this home actually has hardwood on the main floor. Yeah. And it's a really nice layout. They actually updated it. So mm -hmm. you're going to find homes like that where they're updated. Yeah. And other homes in this area are going to be still dated and right. not finished. So it's nice that this house already has everything on the main floor mm -hmm. completely done. It's freshly painted. So that's always a nice bonus. And again, if you walk into some of these other homes in the neighborhood, you might see kind of with the more dated pinks and blues from right. the 90s. Yeah. Yep. A family would really like this house because we've got three bedrooms upstairs. Mm -hmm. We've got two bedrooms downstairs. Yeah. Basic fully finished with the bedrooms and a bathroom. There's a little bit of a flex space, but realistically, you're going to do your living and hanging out on the main floor or in the giant bonus room. Upstairs. It is huge. Yeah. That bonus room has a vaulted ceiling. Yeah, it's nice. And it's tons of space to do your movie nights and game nights and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, kids don't like going to the basement anyway, so it works out well that they're That's above so weird. the ground. It's weird. It's, <laughs> it's true. My kids didn't like being in the basement. Neither so do I. <laughs> this house actually works out great for that. Yeah. Um, and then you've also on the main floor got this like dining area. Yeah which you could use to put your table, or you could use it as a main floor office. Mm -hmm. And you still can fit like a glass table in the eating nook, but you've got that eat up kitchen bar that's right behind us. Mm -hmm. So lots of seating there. The clients did an amazing job renovating. So yeah, it's gorgeous. Quartz countertops, still granite sink, stainless steel appliances. You've got a corner pantry. I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles here. And then upstairs in the ensuite, it is a four piece ensuite. So you have that privacy and then you still have that main bathroom for the other kids. So this house is fully complete and ready for you to buy here.